have to start with John Wall and if you just look at John Wall's stats year over year and you compare them with great point guards like Derek Rose, uh, Jason Kidd, uh, he compares very favorably and he's on that kind of trajectory and we want to see him really become an all-star caliber player in his third year. Mm -hmm. Now that's up to us, not only to work with him to develop him, but to bring other players into the mix that make him a better player as he makes them better players within our team and system. I think we saw that, uh, how much better he played when Nene was in. To be able to go inside and out uh, was really terrific. And I think you're going to see Vesely take big steps forward. Um, he's, he's really athletic. He's a really, really smart smart player, he'll work on a shot during the offseason. Uh, Booker was having a really, really fine season, and he got hurt, and I expect really good things from him. He's a mature player. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Chris Singleton has a lot of upside. He's just a big, tall, long defender, and we'd like to see him slash a little bit more, rebound a little bit better, have a little more confidence in his shot, work on his shot. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I think all of the young kids took that step step forward and if we can add two more players to the roster from young kids and then bring in some more vets I think we're ready to take that next step forward. How do you see yourself and, and Ted kind of filling the needs of the team around you? Well, first we have to see what type of opportunities are out there. There's different ways to improve the team whether it's through the draft, whether it's through uh, free agency, whether it's through uh, trades, whether it's through player development and players getting better uh, that you already have. So there's a lot of different ways and we're going to explore all our options. I'm just wondering how your high-tech scouting kind of plays into your decision-making there. Well, there's a lot of different tools that we use yeah. uh, as far as evaluating free agents and evaluating players in general. So uh, that's a very good tool, a very important tool that, that we try to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. and how do you see the future of scouting kind of evolving? Like in, in five years, what do you think you guys will be using? You know, will most teams actually be picking that stuff up? Well, I think so. A third of the team uses some of the same things that we use right now. And who knows what kind of technology is going to come out in the next two or three years. You know, new things are coming out all the time, and uh, we want to be right on the cutting edge. We're really able this offseason to work with the young kids. Uh, last offseason was very frustrating. You're rebuilding. You need to have the rookies have a quantum leap to their second year. And we weren't able to communicate with them because of the lockout. And this year, uh, we're together. We know what to do. We have strength and conditioning coaches all over the country working with these kids. Some of the players are going to be in the summer league. we got shooting coaches working with a lot of these guys, and they're all being monitored, and I feel good about the kind of development that they can do. I think uh, Hoop is in the booty with our young players, especially the young players we had in John's class. We had four first-round picks, mm -hmm. and we feel all of them have improved in the first two years. They're taking good jumps. Now we want them to take another jump. We had seven players last year who were first and second year players who were in our rotation and they got really valuable playing time which should help them down the road.